Monday night, Tuesday morning. Yeah. Bachelor recap, y'all. Uh, hope everyone's doing great. Uh, we uh, we are joined here. We. The royal we. The royal we. Uh, <laughs> Rashawn, my producer's with me. Yes. I had like four thoughts going in my head right now. Um, I would say we are recording this. Uh, it's uh, it's Monday morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all have recently heard the the news about Kobe Bryant and his daughter and uh, some of the other people on that flight. I know everyone's talking about it, obviously. Uh, so we're just obviously acknowledging it. Sad story. Um, where were you? I, th- I feel like it's one of those moments where you you remember yeah, where you are. Yeah, that's so true. When it, when it happened. Yeah. I mean, he was that big of a, a public figure and... Um, I think yeah, it'll be one of the, I th- I'll always remember where I was when I yeah, found out Kobe too. Bryant passed away. Me too. Um, just obviously, just a very tragic uh, event. It's, it's like not that I'm not sad that Kobe Bryant passed away, but his, his, the daughter, it's just yeah. like thirteen, and you know, it's almost just recently you saw more. Uh, of him hanging out and spending time with his daughter, and you you saw that real bond and connection and. You know, if there's a silver lining, it likes they had each other. I don't know. It's just tragic. And yeah. uh, every time it's it's all over the news right now and you see it and it's your heart breaks every time, time you read yeah. about it. But obviously, and there's other people involved and other families and a lot of people suffering. So our, our best goes out to to all of them um, through this, uh, for this difficult time. Just yeah. uh, life's funny. It really puts things in the perspective sometimes though, doesn't it? Yeah, you know? it does. Um, when someone like Kobe Bryant and this and this happens, and like everyone aware of who he is, like you realize, you just never really know uh, yeah. when 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 things can happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sorry they didn't wake up that morning thinking that would be it. And yeah, whatever you're weird. mad at, yeah, it's weird to experience the collective mourning of everybody is feeling this. Oh. You know, you know, and it's interesting. I even saw some tweets on Twitter of, of people acknowledging that they've had uh, confrontations and frustrations with other people and kind of use that as a, a, a some perspective to extend it like an olive branch because you never really oh, know kind yeah. of thing. And it's it's really true. It's just you just never really uh, know when when life is going to you know end for us. And, yeah. and, and knowing that, you know, all, all the more reason not to sweat the small things or – let us get down about things that we can, you know, try to get over. Or if we uh, have a grudge or a frustration towards someone, even if we feel justified to maybe find a reason to eliminate that dr- uh, 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 grudge. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. I feel silly talking about The Bachelor now, but someone's got to do, do it. You know, sometimes it's the things like The Bachelor that help us distract distract and and move forward as as life life you know does have to go on but it great episode yeah wow thank you abc and uh the bachelor for uh blessing us with this fantastic television oh yeah and i cannot believe you got the guest that we had today i was shocked no, I mean, I'm good friends with Rob. I mean, know? it's just so cool. I'm friends. I mean, he's not inviting me over for dinner anytime soon, but we're friends. We're friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rob Mills, who uh, Rob is in charge of all things unscripted at ABC. So when Big you, man. When you watch The Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise or the Oscars or Jimmy Kimmel or Celebrity Jeopardy or Celebrity Family Feud or all their other great uh, unscripted television and program that they have, Rob is the man in charge of all that. Yeah. And uh, obviously an incredibly busy guy, uh, and he was kind enough to join us to uh, break down this episode and you know, give us a little behind the scenes, a little inside information. Um, I felt a little more free uh, talking about things that I know behind the scene. You, you did? No, and it's like, well, if Rob wants to talk about it. I, yeah, he was very he's, interested. He's like, what's your he, experience? He's in charge, you know? <laughs> Um, oh, like you were going to get in trouble? Like you well, can't you know, get in trouble because Rob was I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with the things I talk about on the show. And, yeah. and as we talked about with, with Rob, I mean, I think I think even like five, ten years ago, the show I think generally liked to even almost not even talk about producers or the fact that it was right. produced. Right. Clearly it's – now I think no one's pretending that doesn't happen. And, yeah. And it doesn't – 
people now accept the show for what it is, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm generally comfortable with what I'm talking about. And I, some of the producers listen to our show. Oh, really? Yeah. Gotten some uh, nice feedback. Good. Uh, some uh, verifications of uh, things, uh, of opinions I've had. Some oh, Okay. Um, but uh, but what's cool about Rob is he's a genuine fan. He he, he loves a, it. He's a fan of the show. Yeah, that's so cute. Um, and that's what it is nice about Rob is that he is so busy and he oversees so many things. He's not always on the ground level. He doesn't travel with the show. He certainly you know they check in with him and he's old prize and he's old, he always knows what's going on. But he can I think be far enough removed that he. He, I think he still enjoys watching it as a fan. It's always, it, it is fun to get Rob's perspective from that point of view. So it is, it's, uh, we were really appreciate Rob joining us and, and breaking it down with us. Um, so yeah. Anything else, Michelle, before we get right into it? Yeah. Join us tomorrow for Megan King Edmonds, former OC housewife. That's right. Megan, and, uh, she's been killing in the news yeah. lately. And we filmed it before we heard that Tamara and Vicky are no longer on the housewives. Nick doesn't care, but I care. They're out. So we filmed it literally like a day before we found that out. But yeah. Either way, this is, it's a really great interview with Megan and uh, she continues to be uh, authentic and open loved and honest. Her, and loved her. Um, just a lot of fun to get to know her yeah. uh, on the show. So we really appreciate uh, Megan and uh, join us tomorrow for that wonderful interview. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I feel like also, by the way, I don't, we don't like tell people to subscribe. I feel like I've never really done that. Should we oh, yeah, start telling it. people this? I do it in the show notes, but yeah, you can ask them. Subscribe people yeah. if you haven't already. Leave a, if you leave a review, screenshot it, email it to asknick at castmedia.com with a K. You'll be entered to win a some free merch. merch. Free merch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, some of you probably are, are tuning in just to get your uh, bachelor fix. We are doing great things on Mondays and Wednesdays as well. Um, that are It's not so bachelor related, but uh, dating life, uh, relationships. We talk about everything. So give us a shout. Give us a try. A shout out. I'm just rambling now. Anyways, Rob Mills. Imperfect Foods. I got to say, I'm uh, really on, uh, on board with the new friend of show. What yes. a fascinating concept. We've all heard the phrase, waste not, want not, have we not? Yeah. Uh, you know, fun fact about me, one of my first uh, jobs in life was working at the, in the produce department of a grocery store. Oh, you're like grocery store Joe. I was a, you know, I was the grocery assistant. Store Nick. I was assistant produce manager in high oh, school. Were you feeling those tomatoes, uh, testing those grapefruits? I was doing it all, baby. Um, but uh, obviously, you know, you want things to be aesthetically pleasing in the grocery store. They do. And as such, uh, sometimes the less fortunate looking fruit and vegetables yeah. uh, get set aside. And they're just as tasty. They're just as tasty. They just don't look quite as nice. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, you know lopsided yeah like me <laughs> well now they have a place in this world yes and imperfect foods is bringing these uh, imperfect fruits and vegetables produce rather yeah to our doorstep yeah at a very affordable price you know i heard about it because my brother and his girlfriend they're very conscious consumers mm -hmm. they already are doing we're doing this before i even heard about it they live in seattle now it's nationwide so anyone can get this uh yeah it's it's quite fascinating i i gave it a try and i'll tell you what the fruit they do in vegetables they do in fact look a, you know they're cute like, you understand why they were cast aside and then you <laughs> feel a little bit bad and then you bite it into their <laughs> in their faces and they taste just as delicious and the prices are fabulous plus you can get extra stuff like i got oat milk with mine hummus you, you can add a bunch of stuff onto your grocery list. It is amazing. So start saving time, saving money, and saving waste right now. Because when you go to imperfectfoods.com slash V-I-A-L-L, now through February 16th, you'll get $10 off your next four orders. That's a total of $40 off. Just go to imperfectfoods.com slash V-I-A-L-L to get $10 off your next four orders. Imperfectfoods.com slash V-I-A-L-L and enter v-i-a-l-l -L at checkout gravity blanket you know we've talked about uh weighted blankets before yes they are truly a spectacular invention yes uh how many of you are struggling with anxiety out there raise your hand well if you're <laughs> driving don't raise your hand but uh weighted blankets really work yeah um 
I don't, I'm not a scientist, so I don't necessarily know the science behind it, but I, uh, I tried, uh, the way to blanket and it really just made me feel not alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sensation of being hugged. So it makes yeah. sense. It, it, it's really great. Yeah. And, uh, and gravity is the top rated weighted blanket. So you cannot go wrong. Gravity, gravity is the king yeah. of the mountain or the queen, whoever one you prefer to to decide is more is better. Yeah. So if you're wanting to try a weighted blanket, I would definitely go with gravity. Uh, learn more about gravity blankets at gravityblankets.com and use promo code VIALL to get 20% off your purchase today. That's gravityblankets.com and use code VIALL to get 20% off your blanket that everyone's talking about. I love mine. I have the cooling one. It keeps me cool. Rob Mills, thanks for coming. Of course, buddy. Absolutely. Good to see you. Thanks. For, How long did, did, you, I, did we caught up a little bit before? I, How long have I don't been? think I've seen, seen you in at least two. I, I don't think I've seen you in person mm-hmm. since right after I got kicked off at Dancing with the Stars. That, that might be true. Is oh, that's that long true? Time. It was after uh, we did, I think it was after uh, we we talked, it was at Julia's show. Yeah. I think you're right. Um, so that's about right. We talked about you as sexy Pinocchio. What? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> sexy. Mm-hmm. Tell us more. <laughs> well, I was a Dancing with the Stars. It was, he was Dancing with the Disney night. It, oh. it wasn't very sexy, but I <laughs> well, was we Pinocchio. Well, we were laughing at it because Nick, every one of his dances was like sexy, yes. whatever. Yes. And then we were like, oh, he's doing Pinocchio, sexy Pinocchio. <laughs> kind of. And it, it was It was actually, gr- I think it was your best dance. <laughs> Not even close. It was yeah. my best dance. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it was it was uh i fully embraced it i even shaved for it, it was, wow yeah, right. really, did you have there the was nose no, there's no, no beard of pinocchio oh. no nose. no the they, nose didn't grow they, would have been a little too fat they, yeah. they did in my pa- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in my package they gave me an animated nose oh, there oh a, that's right there's yeah. a meme out there of my nose growing so if uh <laughs> yeah. if if i'm having a text conversation someone's questioning my integrity i just immediately that's right Send that. So that's like three years ago then. Almost three years Probably this three spring. Three years ago. Wow. wow. That's crazy. We, we, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tweet at Rob now and then. Yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. It's nice to Always see you. Always bunnies for life. Yeah. I think. <laughs> for, I, I hope so. Yeah. Rob's also a fellow runner. So there we, we go. We are. Yes, oh. exactly. Now, I don't think I'm in Nick's league. Nick, you know. I don't. Do you still run insane. a lot? I do. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I mean, I run to work out, but I. Have you done a marathon? No. No, you never. I, I did I Boston last April. I never. I'll never. You I did? Yeah. Wow. Uh, what did you do? I, I did okay. You know, I was happy to qualify. Hey, I hadn't done it in like 20 years. Yeah. No, no, it was easy. I finished. I did it like 345. Easy? Uh, Dang. That's no, really good. That Are you going to do, there's a half though. Nike's doing a half in April. In, it's a big thing. In LA. In LA. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Like, All right, let me know. Maybe we'll do it up. together. Are you going to do Nick? it? Yeah, absolutely. You should do a bachelor team. We should, yeah. Wait, wait, Tyler's doing marathons. Andy's yeah. doing marathons. Chris Harrison runs, right? I don't know that he could do it. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know exactly. if he's. A, I don't know. Oh. If All right, Nick and I. Nick and I'll do it, and we'll see who else jumps on. Yeah. All right. Well, Fun. All right, Team Badger. Do it, doing it now. For those of you who don't know Rob, Rob is uh, in charge of all unscripted television at ABC, specifically mm-hmm. Bachelor. The he Bachelor. Is, he is part of the brainchild of all the glorious television you have been seeing over mm-hmm. the Anything past years. Anything that does not have a script, but Anything. Bachelor is is really where I started when I was at ABC. You, yeah, you were, mm-hmm. were you before you were in charge of unscripted. You were just in charge of the. Yeah, I was, was an executive. Our department oversees all the like reality shows, all the big specials like the Oscars and the AMAs, and then um, late night. And I, I actually started in late night when Kimmel launched okay. and then moved over to series. Ah. And then so and then specials. Now I oversee all of them. Wow. It's a lot. Hot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Yeah. And Rob's really kicking ass. The, Thanks, lately, buddy. the Celebrity Jeopardy, huge hit. Yeah, that, Jeopardy. It broke some one. records. There, we not... did, it, it, yeah, it got a ton of people watched. Yeah. It was good. Did you watch? I, I've seen. I, pretty I cool, didn't watch huh? all of them, but no? I definitely yeah. followed along and, mm-hmm. and saw, I think it was the yeah. second one. The one when Ken won yeah. one of them. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, it was really cool. Um, what what made you come up with that idea? Uh, I love Jeopardy, and um, when that it was really when Holtzauer was on. Okay, like it was like, okay. We gotta have him play Ken, and then we heard about this other guy Brad who'd never lost one of those tournament of champions until this one. So just it was pretty. It was just as easy as that. It was nice to do something with Alex too. You know, he's yes, he's sick right now. So it was it was really fun. 
Oh, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just kind of came out of nowhere and was came such out a of nowhere, huge, yeah. huge, huge hit. It's like all these Bachelor spinoffs we do, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, we will. It's like they just come from out of nowhere. We can talk all we about will, those. We things. will get into that. <laughs> the but endless amount of spinoffs. I, yeah. I know people are dying to get into this. Uh, well, I got to say, awful yeah. bravo, Rob. That okay. was one Perfect. of the be- better episodes I've, I've this seen. This episode was great. We had talked yeah. about it last week. You know, I know. It was like, oh, I'm so glad we're talking about this one. It was good. It yeah. was. And... It was just like what's so fascinating about the season so far is, and we were talking about this before mm-hmm. we started recording, is yeah, usually at this point you have, you know, you're kind of establishing maybe yeah. who your villain is or mm-hmm. the people talking about. Every episode there's a new a new yeah. person. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, it's definitely going to be Hannah Ann. Yeah. We're gonna, well, Hannah Ann's going to be the super villain. It's, it's like funny. She's disappeared in a great way for Hannah Ann. No, you're, you're absolutely right. It's weird. You know, last season was sort of a good case in point with Colton. It was like, it was all about the fence jump because there wasn't a ton beyond that. It was all kind of standard yeah. Bachelor and there was good stuff every now and then, but every week was the fence, the fence jump. jump. It yeah. was the fence jump. When is that happening? Yeah. And then, of course, the fence jump was amazing. But this one, it's sort of like, oh, they're going to milk this champagne thing for three weeks. It's like, nope, that no, was like a half moving, an episode. That's moving it. on. We got stuff Champ- to get into. Remember that. Champagne that no one even re- Well, What's funny, because when you get to the end with Kelsey's date, you're like, oh, my God, that's right. She was freaking out of the champagne. Oh, Wouldn't even know it. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we kind of jump around here. But I, there's, a, for me, a lot of uh, losers this mm-hmm. episode. Basically, yeah. ev- <laughs> everyone mm-hmm. didn't look particularly good, except Kelsey. Kelsey Home looks run, amazing. This episode, and you start to think when you first see her in that second episode, Kelsey's going to be, you know, oh, she's going to be a problem because she was angry at McKenna, and then she was angry at Hannah Ann, and you know, freaking out over this. But then completely has yeah. moved on and was great on her one on one. She was. I, I referred to her as uh, Sharon Stone from Casino. Uh, oh yeah, there you just, go. Like, Ir- mm-hmm. you know irrational outbreak and just That's like right. screaming for yes. no reason you can't make mm-hmm. sense of it yeah and she was the person of uh just kind of like calmness and steadiness mm-hmm. you know yeah. what, peter it's fine that Alea's back mm-hmm. you know what you're still figuring yeah, it out I want you just to a lot out. of just like pointing. Yeah. <laughs> i'm like who who is yeah. this person yeah I, it was I yeah really- she seemed down to earth quite no, often. No, she, she was great. I thought the story of the parents' divorce was right, very yeah, touching. Very touching. Yeah. And she didn't seem like she was overselling it, mm-hmm. a la kind of Victoria P. from a week ago. Right, yeah. You know, it just, uh, I, I think Kelsey's like really true. Cho- yeah. I could be friends with Kelsey. Oh. I think she's this week's MVP. You're absolutely yeah. right. I think like she could be someone I'd be like, that's she's cool to hang out with. She yeah. seems like at the end of the day, she's kind of like, she's pretty chill. Do you watch as a former bachelor do you watch these episodes and put yourself in those say okay here's who who i know i would be vibing with here's who i would not be into uh not so much mm-hmm. there's a there's certainly uh i mean sometimes when i watch it uh like we kind of joked about like i, I mean like i have said the women this season are yeah. are they're they're attractive yeah, they you know, are, in terms absolutely. of like people like immediately out of physical attraction You've that heard I, a lot of people i would be I would be immediately physically attracted to. So like as a, f- a former lead, you're just yeah. kind of like, oh, that would have been. How do you feel nice. about the, the group you got considering that you ended up with, no, now that Vanessa didn't work out, you know? I, you know, it, you ended up person, with none of the 25. Yeah, so. I don't, I don't have. Do you ever say, gosh, you guys could have done better? <laughs> I'm not out of my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I haven't heard anything. Yeah, exactly. No, uh, mm-hmm. I, listen, they're all great women, and I don't have, like, Vanessa and I didn't work out, but I... I they were great I women. No, no, of anything. course it wouldn't. I would right. still pick Vanessa, you know. That's no, you would have picked I Vanessa in this group, but do you look at this group and say, like, oh, gosh, if I had had these 25 or 30... Well, here's the thing, though. It's much so like, different. Yeah, it's, I, I have the level-headedness of knowing, it's just like, you see these pictures, you see them uh mm-hmm. on on, right. on camera like i i quickly remind myself what it's like to be in peter's position and be right. the bachelor and it's just like you quickly his point of view is probably so different than everyone else's of yeah how he's how they're acting that's right and what's going on so i don't make too too much of it yeah um that's, but, that's probably wise yeah i i watch it more with a kind of an analytical yeah. <laughs> eye oh, yeah. um but yeah it's a yeah, I, I don't go too far because yeah. it's just like they're just people and they're all pe- yeah. You've got just, a special like insight whatever. into it, Nick. You know, <laughs> having been on it on every different side possible, literally. Um, 
so let's maybe go back to the beginning of the episode. It w- again, it speaks to how good this episode was. You have Victoria F. getting a one-on-one. And you have her ex-boyfriend being the obscure musical country act. How crazy is that? I mean, Chase Rice is a little less obscure than we he's an normally get. He's an up-and-comer. You guys are is right. it true they have to pay their own way if they are on the show? You do get a... the. I mean, pay their own way makes it sound like, you know, get, here's, here's the place in Cleveland. You got to figure out how to get here. <laughs> yeah. But it is the record company does help out. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge platform So they're platform doing it for, for the exposure. It's a huge platform yeah. for them. For sure. Uh, which is why, <clears throat> I mean, it depends. If it's somebody who's really huge, which we don't normally get, um, you know, <laughs> we, we will we will pay. Like, I think Air Supply, we we paid them because we, we asked them to come on. <laughs> they may have not heard of The Bash. <laughs> yes, that's right. But um, uh, yeah, with Chase Rice, it was the, I mean, I think that the, the best we ever did was on Emily Maynard season. We had Luke Bryan literally right as he took off literally right when that episode like, is it like pop aired. He oh, was yeah. he was popping. He didn't need the bachelorette to do it. It was so that was like the perfect scenario. We've never hit that mark since. And that's kind of luck, right? Because you yeah. film it, you wait, you don't know what else. That being said, on. I think this probably has to have been a huge boost for Chase Rice. This is gonna be huge. everyone's if gonna you remember the heard name of chase, chase rice, rice yeah That's you've heard you know it. now mm-hmm. now and you know tenille arts didn't quite get the same bump <laughs> <laughs> but i gotta say i think chase rice you know it's gonna be big yes it's gonna be in every and, every us weekly what's interesting, entertainment tonight e-news and you know we do a lot of country music yeah. on abc we do the cma awards yeah. cma fest so you know there's plenty of things to put him on now for oh, us yeah. on ABC. Part so of the we family. can do some follow up. Yeah, absolutely. And I gotta say, I mean, for all I I do wanna say mm-hmm. thank you to you and the producers for making this happen. It's my understanding most of it was dumb luck. Uh, it was dumb, you know, as you know, it's funny because we talk about this with the champagne gate thing. I yeah. remember that night when Kelsey took the thing and then it exploded all <laughs> over her face. And that was like the okay, sometimes when you're prepared for things and then dumb luck happens, that literally the same thing here yeah you yeah. know just just be ready for it i mean imagine if it was like oh my god victoria f was here we had no idea she dated chase rice and he played on a date but yeah but like that you guys stupid. casting chase and casting yeah. victoria f my understanding it was kind of two very separate events it was <clears throat> but then knowing and knowing how to maximize it yeah so that's then the you key. find out and when like, hey, do you think do they found out i think it was pretty much in in there, I mean, in the it, it was it, no, no, not in the moment. Oh, I think it was it was before that, yeah, yeah, certainly before they went to Cleveland. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. it's not that hard to believe if if one of the girls from uh, who go on are dating a, a country star, yeah. it might. You know, there's plenty of conversations that are going on between cast and producers yeah. and cast and other cast that would like it would come up. Yeah, um, and country is a big hotbed. I mean, we've you know, there, there's plenty of bachelor stars who have. You know, oh, it had it's some a breeding some, ground. Some well, I mean, with, with uh, Lauren Bush now is now married to yes, uh, Chris exactly. Lane, who performed on my season. Right. Good po- yeah. Um, and so, yes, it's, and like I said, it's not that hard to believe that an attractive girl who lives in that yeah, part of the absolutely. country is dating a country singer from. No, Nick, did you ever, ever have any conversations with the artist the way Peter did? <laughs> I, I did not that's it's, where you talk about good producing yeah you know? that is that is uh, it was oh, so great i gotta sad. see her go over there and talk to chase all, all, with all the things though going on mm-hmm. everyone kind of came away from that date like looking totally fine but, it was right? not anything there's nothing you know th- 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 what are you gonna do you don't think anything. she should have told them immediately what could she have done i mean i think you she can is, see she was like a deer in the headlights yes. when she's walking through there thank god she didn't run and turn you know oh my, i yes. think she handled it about she, as good as she, she possibly did can. as she and victoria handled that as well as she possibly could have imagine yeah going on a show and you're already a deer in headlights yeah. just out of her premise alive and then you're having fun and then you see your ex-boyfriend i mean we've all seen the show yeah. and like the fear of your ex showing up for no reason other than they decided they just wanted to get there <laughs> two minutes many times. and he's on stage at this point she's saying to herself i'm at cedar point like yeah. how bad what could possibly <laughs> what happen? could possibly go wrong and, and then so it's she's... the guy playing I yeah know. it's her boyfriend her ex-boyfriend and it sounds like they didn't i mean her not like her boyfriend from two years ago i no, think they like, like right yeah. before they kind of yeah. just broke up um 
So what? Yeah, I thought she handled it just fine. She just yeah. she went through the moment. Even Peter. It's funny, you know. I mentioned the Chris Lang. You know, trying to relate to Peter in that situation. I will say when, when, and we were in Milwaukee. By the way, mm-hmm. great, great job giving Cleveland. Cleveland, the love. it was yeah. it was great. Well, they really stepped up. I don't like, know. I was a little times. bit like. Cleveland? Also, Similar I love the, the way art, you guys yeah. introduced Cleveland, yeah. where you didn't even pretend no. that like the girls were initially happy because sometimes they'll do that. <laughs> yeah, but like, like I remember, well, you know, yeah. On exactly. my season, we, we went to Connecticut, <laughs> so Chris comes in and he's like, "We're going to romantic New England," yeah. and us guys were like, "Huh?" And yeah. they're like, they're, and then the producer's like, "All right, let's do this fucking again." And yeah. like, can you guys act excited? They didn't yeah. even try. <laughs> well, I think that you know what we've learned is you have to own it. You, you know, guys are doing a great job with you, that. Because you're, like, you're going to make, again? you know, exactly. Cleveland is is like, you know, it's like, remember that scene in Wayne's World where they're doing the yeah. green screen? It's like, I'm in Delaware. I'm in Delaware. Yeah. Welcome to, to, to Delaware. To Delaware. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like, that's what Cleveland. No, it was so good. I mean, your revolve date. I mean, I love how you're like, Julian and I were talking about that. Yeah, it's like, let's, I'm good for you guys for just. We know what this is, right? Yeah, and, and uh, yeah. you can you but, can still uh, find love. You know, own it that okay, Cleveland does not sound as romantic as, you know, Vietnam or Thailand or Australia, but you can still make it love. look good. Yes. But then it but it looked great. It and then you great. see Cleveland, it's like it looks fantastic. Well, and you know, and on my season we ended up in Milwaukee, which, you know, Cleveland, Milwaukee. You know, that made sense though for you. That was also it, a tie in. It to did. You. It was also kind of again another happy accident because yeah. of weather. Right. Uh, so, but anyway, we're in Milwaukee, and Chris Lane is performing, and I, you know, I knew there would be a musical act, and I, you know, I'm not a country fan. I didn't know who the fuck Chris Lane was, but I will say, I'm on the stage. They open the doors, and that moment was so cool. Like it was still probably one of the cooler moments I've ever experienced. Where like, you feel the energy of the fans, yeah. and like they're cheering for you, and you're just excited. And you're with this pretty girl, and I'm just like, so Peter is doing this, mm-hmm. and I can I assure you, he's just like having the absolute oh, time of amazing. his life, right? Well, you must feel like it, you have a unique perspective. You said this happened. You must feel like you're a rock star a rock star because yeah. they're cheering for you i mean it's not awkward standing on that like platform in front of i everyone. mean again it was there was it was even even more special for me i was in milwaukee in my hometown and i, I, I who I, were you on the date with I don't it was D- danielle low oh D-Lo. uh yeah d-low and uh and i just you could feel when they opened the doors the place lost their shit and yeah. you, know, you knew that they were cheering for you and yeah you know they were like mm-hmm. you could tell they were excited that like holy shit the bachelor's in milwaukee you know that's right like, yeah or no, cleveland it, right and you felt yeah. that energy mm-hmm. and it was just such an exciting unique experience yeah. right and so Peter, so you're right so he's there he's feeling feeling like, this. this he's just me. like this yep. is great and it's not even like about him but you're he he knows it like i remember being like this is surreal like this is like this energy is so neat and i remember like I remember thinking, just enjoy this really neat moment, yeah. right? So here's Peter, Aww. just like, wow, man, this yeah. is great. Here's this mm-hmm. beautiful girl. We're having fun. And yeah, this country guy, I don't know who he is, but he yeah. sounds pretty good. <laughs> and bam, like it was so great. And then mm-hmm. they, they're talking to him. And yeah, that's great. I love that they had Peter talk to Chase yeah, and Victoria absolutely. talk to Chase. Mm-hmm. But everyone, even... I thought Chase looked fine. Chase handled yeah. himself well. Well, what was he supposed Chase, to do? Chase does not look like he's hurting for female attention. I'm sure he's <laughs> yeah, doing he's fine. just fine. He's doing you know? fine. Yeah, you know, do what's right for you. <laughs> yeah, he said all, right. all exactly. the kind of yeah. all the kind of canned like yeah. Lines. Next Bachelor, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, he'll be fine. But yeah. like, what a weird mm-hmm. scenario to be like singing a love song, looking at the girl while she's. In someone else's it's, arms, it's got to be pretty crazy. Yeah. It's kind of like the ultimate rock star move. It really is. I'm gonna date this girl. I'm gonna sleep with her, and then I'm yeah. gonna be fine. I'm gonna. I'll even serenade you. It's just like, yeah, moving on. <laughs> it's such. I a, mean, imagine if he'd written that song for her, though. Oh, that would have been. Did he? That I don't know. Been another level. He should, I don't think he did. He should have said he did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He might have. He should have just really leaned That's in. That's right. And just started crying. You know, his like uh, stage amazing. manager yeah. should have put like some like visine in his eyes and just yeah. get a tear. He <laughs> that was a miss by Chase. He yeah. Could have milked it a little bit more. I think he'll do it now. I'm sure he's going to have plenty of you know follow follow up after this. Uh, but yeah, I I thought. All, 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 everyone just handled themselves fine. I, Victoria, yeah. I thought mm-hmm. she did fine. I get why she was upset. And 
I thought it was so funny. He's like, can you not run into a corner anymore? Yeah. <laughs> she just started crying and ran into a mm-hmm. corner. <laughs> We've already seen she's somebody who is she, emotional. She is emotional. She gets in her head. She gets in her head. Yeah, you you, ca- you guys kind of gave her a bad beat by showing her the uh, slight uh, panic attack before she got out of the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's always like one of those moments where you know, you right. guys, the, the show sh- shows it and like everyone does it. But it's like, we'll show her doing it this right. time. But mm-hmm. like, what are you going to do? But yes, probably because that's her character. Yeah. She is an emotional person. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But she really calmed down during the day. She did the she classic. Did. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Had that kind of, I fought my fears and I had a good time and yeah. everything's, everything's fine. It was good. It was fun. I yeah. thought so you did a good job. And then we go to the group date, mm-hmm. which was just awesome. I mean, some things in this world make some sense and then other <laughs> things in this world make too, too much, much sense. sense. <laughs> we sound like a late night. What is that called? Where you're selling stuff? Ugh. <laughs> we're not selling anything we are letting people know commercial we sound like how, how to improve their lives undercover tourists undercover tourists if you haven't heard of this it, mind-blowing <laughs> it's just like wait how how is this real uh basically what what is it it is a place you go if you're if you are going to a theme park yeah disneyland disney world disney world yeah. uh the six flags if yeah you will. yeah uh it's just a way to get discounted prices on these theme uh, parks and if you have been to a theme park if you have a family of, well I mean, anything, they're, it's pricey yeah you have a lot of fun there's it's a lot so of value pricey. you have a good time but man it, it it might cost half your mortgage to get there well not anymore people are saving an average of hundred dollars per ticket yep. on top attractions for your family yeah they'll also give information about like what theme parks have like less traffic so if you like want to like go and have fun and not wait in a lot of lines yeah uh, they they'll have give crowd you, maps. They have you crowd maps. Pick a day that not it's not going to be packed full. Uh, it is 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 amazing. Their customer service agents will take care of you. Yeah, and as undercover tourist takes care of them. Yeah, and there's no catch. They work directly with the park, so it's just a win win for everybody. So, anyways, check it out. So if you are uh, planning a vacation on vacation and you're uh, looking not to uh, lose all your money, check out Undercover Tourist. Undercover Tourist is the trusted name for theme park tickets start planning your next theme park vacation now by visiting undercovertours.com slash v-i-a-l-l that's an additional discount using v-i-a-l-l on top of the big savings already offered through uncover tourist that's undercovertours.com slash v-i-a-l-l i love how uh on, on on jojo season you guys had the guys play flag flag football and on this season the girls are it's literally football. tackle football. Mm-hmm. Arguably better than the Cleveland Browns themselves. Potentially. Oh, you know? damn. Mm-hmm. I got to ask, as a football fan, mm-hmm. I noticed that Josh Cribbs and yes. another former player played. Mm-hmm. Were the Cleveland Browns, uh, did they come to you guys say, and say, listen, we don't want any of our current people it on the show because we might fire them? No, <laughs> you, the you would think so. Yeah, most <clears throat> will probably not be there. Um, and it won't look good for you guys. And you'll they'll yeah. know you. T- no, cool. they were they were on the road. They were playing. Okay. So that was really it, it was hard. I uh. <clears throat> anyway, so that was mm-hmm. cool. So then their flag football, they fight to the death. As you know, though, too, from your season two, these sports states always a little to, tense. And it's funny because it used to be it really did used to stick to the letter with these dates where it was like the winning team. It they never go home. Follows now. It's now yeah. it now never follows because you're you're losing half the drama. Yeah, you're, yeah. So you think these people would be like, you know, it doesn't really matter, guys. We're all out. going. Yeah. They're going to tell us it, but no. And and they played hard. And what they we played super and hard. And what we found from my season, and I, I don't think they realize it, but what happened in my season and happened this season well, is Nick, st- Nick had that was a real because as we that talked was about, there meltdown. wasn't a ton of drama on your season outside of Corinne, but that was, that was one people remember that one. Yeah. And it, well, which one? The volleyball, yeah, the volleyball date. date. Because here's what happened is like it just doesn't matter because and you saw that here mm-hmm. here. The girls who tied, uh, they were pissed. They yeah. tied. Mm-hmm. They were like, fuck this bullshit. Yeah, right. We were supposed to have this mm-hmm. time. So you get the drama anyways. Yeah. Someone's oh, gonna absolutely. be pissed. Mm-hmm. Either gonna get the people pissed because they don't get time, or you're gonna mm-hmm. get the other people who thought I thought I was gonna get more time. That's right. So I think the producers just realized we'll just you know, yeah, either way, we're great. Gonna get drama. Yeah. That's right. The person uh, who got the most time didn't even play, so yeah, none of it. Yeah, uh, so true. I got to point out that uh, I also loved uh, 
uh, Madison mm -hmm. getting pissed that they tied, which was quite honestly the most genuine and real thing we've seen from Madison. Well, as we know, Madison. well, we know from Madison, you know, she's Auburn basketball, the dad coach, yes. she played. So she knows all about D1 oh, yeah, yeah. competitor sports. But she's like, she's been kind of this, the quiet girl, very she's sweet. She's been out. You know, that's to your point. You just don't know. It's hard to figure out front runners anymore because it's like Hannah Ann was sort of the entire thing. She's sort of gone away. Madison, same thing. Yeah, but she got real pissed. They showed like two yeah. seconds, and I was like, mm -hmm. "That's the Madison I want to see more of." That yeah. was that was mm -hmm. genuine and real. Um, but I thought it was so funny the way he was trying to explain the football to them. He's mm -hmm. like, "You're good. They're gonna run, and then they're gonna touch down, and that's <laughs> bad for us. <laughs> like, yeah. like, they're not idiots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, not idiots. But some of them yeah. might not have." played McKenna didn't seem like a uh, very uh, astute football no. person but mm -hmm. some of them quite quite athletic actually they really they I gotta say the women this season whether it's the pillow fighting or the mm -hmm. football yeah they're not they're, they're going pretty for good it. they are really going for it there's a few of them you know sports is not their sport but that's for the most of them they're pretty good yeah um and so then we get to the meat of the episode where you know group date Alea comes mm -hmm. back and I gotta say, so the the so the Alea drama, mm -hmm. and then you have the Victoria P. Who, by the way, sometimes when I watch this, like there's always like these when people say villain, I, yeah. it's like whatever. Well, I know. think vil it's funny because going back to your season again, I remember telling people because it was like, oh, Corinne's going to be the villain. It's like, well, no, yeah. I think that villain is now being redefined. Like totally. they're they're real people who have shades of gray and. Certain people you think are great, like like all of us, but it's more real. There isn't the, oh, okay, this is the villain, Correct. this is the yeah. hero, and this is, um, and I think yeah, I think you're right. I think that people get sort of labeled and villain, but if now you had to label a villain from Colton season. You might actually say Demi, yeah, who's also like, the, or you might say Colton. <laughs> you might say Colton, right? So it's like it's you have these different <laughs> kind of moments, right? Yeah, exactly. But as opposed to it used to be. Like, I remember um, Sean Lowe's season, Tierra was yes. like, that was the villain. villain. That was the villain, and you want her to get her comeuppance and go home at some point. Or even Ben Flanick's season when um, Courtney won. Like, that was the straight-out villain, and it was the... Luke no, P. Mm -hmm. Luke P was pretty well, good Well, that's the thing. And that's what I was about to say, is like, now when you get a real mm -hmm. villain, like a mm -hmm. person who like even off off the show might suck, you're yeah. really, then it's great. You get the look. Yeah. So mm -hmm. my point of saying that, I think the only real villain in this group is Victoria P. Wow. Wow. Well, I have to say it was bizarre because that, that whole thing was when with that confrontation where Peter goes, let's all go together. She was sort of like this, like just just trapped and didn't know what to do almost the way you'd think victoria f might act on the chase rice date yeah but where she did but victoria p you're right it was sort of you it know it was clear that she was lying also i'm a little confused somebody needs I'm... to transcribe her her whole thing oh, so you yes. can read yeah, it get all on, get on that Jimmy. yeah <laughs> that was one of the, right. uh that was one of the uh, um for a written transcript just send five dollars to yes BC um do it for you but she so i'm confused last week we Here's what's so bizarre mm -hmm. about the whole fight is I first thought that what Alea's big crime last week was that she said that she knew Victoria P and that Victoria P called out uh, Alea saying, well, we know each other, but she asked me not to say that we know each other. Right. Is that correct? Is that my remember that correctly? No, I think that was it. It was something along those and lines. And then all of a sudden... And she's the, not a liar. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the fight is... Aaliyah's like, no, we know each other. It's like they were all of a sudden reversed sides. R Victoria yeah. P is like, well, we know each other, but I barely know her. And Aaliyah's like, not only do I know her, into this we're, Vegas we're, trip. we're yeah, like, exactly. we're homies. Mm -hmm. Like we've been hanging yeah. out. And then, well, then it was weird. It was like, unless I heard this one too, it's like we were planning a trip to Vegas. And then it's like, we went to Vegas yeah. together. So the whole truth is bizarre. Oh, Victoria. Victoria P is a 100% a liar and you see her get caught in the lie and she's just like, I mean, she's a pro. She is an absolute wow. pro. Interesting. If you go back and listen, cause she goes, she's just, she's, she gets called out. So Peter's just like, Hey, uh, you said we knew you knew each other for three hours. And she immediately goes, well, we went to Vegas. Right. And Peter's just like, 
well, I don't know how you go to Vegas, but I'm pretty sure like that means probably more than three hours. And then she does this whole like, she starts gaslighting him immediately where she's just like, uh, well, this is bizarre mm-hmm. and this is my truth. She just starts she was speaking. Gaslighting. She starts speaking in these very like vague terms mm-hmm. where even when she's sitting across from Alea yeah. and she goes, what started with that weird hug between them too, oh where it was God. like, <laughs> oh my they God. were like two people who just endured this trauma. Yes. <laughs> You know? No, she's a pro. She goes up and hugs her, and then she's like taking the fake mm-hmm. eyelash eyelash off her eye. No, Vic- Victoria P is a savage. And then when when she's faced with this lie, she just goes to Leia and she goes something to the effect of, "I didn't fully take the opportunity to become like totally your friend." Which, when you think about what she says, you're like. Well, I guess that could be... What does that even mean? It's such a vague thing. I didn't fully take the opportunity. It's just like... Because she's basically saying, well, yeah, I went to Vegas. We hung out. Right. But I can't call you my friend because Mm -hmm. I... I didn't fully take the opportunity. Very clever wording by her. I guess you're right. I didn't... I didn't even... You've clearly broken this down and thought about it quite a bit. I'm watching this. I'm just like, oh my God, she's the worst. I think I... Because I, too, watched it, and I was like, no, I guess I can see where she's coming from, and I oh. can see why she's angry at Peter when she gets <laughs> no. angry. So, no, yeah. She's totally. I'm I'm watching me like, I've dated someone like this before, and it's just oh, like, all of a sudden, you're just wow. like, where she... So, you were she's, triggered? She's totally in <laughs> yeah. the wrong. Yeah, I totally was. <laughs> she's totally in the wrong, and then all of a sudden, Peter is sitting there being like, wait, I'm... Why is Peter apologizing for any of this? He mm-hmm. keeps saying, I'm sorry. I don't yeah. mean to accuse you. And she quickly is just like, why don't you trust me? And I'm thinking, because you're lying to him. <laughs> wow. Uh, we can only hope those two go home before, tell you know, so that they don't make it to like fantasy suite so that we can have them resolve this at oh, tell-all. We, we, we definitely need mm-hmm. this to happen yeah. at uh-huh. tell-all. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. And then it, like, so Peter keeps Alea. And then it well, it, do, do, I mean, don't you th- again as a bachelor when you've played that differently? It's fine to keep her, but then to give her the group date rose yeah. was a baffling move yes. on every level. Yeah, I mean, just makes no sense. Just like, do you want to join the house again? Yes, that might be that might have been Peter taking one for the team. <laughs> oh, Maybe. He had to have Who known knows? everyone would hate him for that. But though. that's not, but that's the one you need to take to a team. It's enough to ask her back, back, back in the house. Poor Sheehan scored mm-hmm. all those touchdowns and uh, well, Sheehan, liver. Un- Sheehan starts to say, like, I need to talk to you about this. This is really upsetting to me. I worked really hard because I thought winning the game meant we'd get more time. I didn't get this. And then, of course, who comes in? Uh, like, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Well, I, th- I, I will say, it, like, mm-hmm. it is shocking to me. And I don't know, as someone who oversees the show yeah. year after year, mm-hmm. season after season, the ability for the contestants to act as if they've never seen the show or never even been told the premise of the show. Right. Or they think if their love language is quality time, that they're mm-hmm. somehow going to flourish in this atmosphere. Right. It's just, no, I know. And you think somebody would say, I've seen the show. I know, you know, but nobody acknowledges it. Yeah, you're right. You know, well, this was mm-hmm. my rose. Like, mm-hmm. uh, because the one real- thing, though, that has also been very, you know, Chris always says all the time, there's no rules. There's no, yeah. you know. So why don't you just say, I don't care what anyone's saying or telling me to do. I'm not. No. Go yeah. away. We see that a little bit. We but, do. Yeah. Well, I, I always, these da- dates mm-hmm. like this, uh, I enjoy liking to, I enjoy pointing out that on my season, Vanessa mm-hmm. never got a group date, Rose. Not one. Not a single one. And she did it because I was just like, I, I didn't give Vanessa a group date rose for three reasons. One, uh, I got a bunch of them and I never won. And I remember thinking like, I remember with like the wow, broken hearted, how you look at broken hearted yeah. Nick was mm-hmm. just all like, but I got all these roses as mm-hmm. if they meant something, you know? Right. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I knew how I felt very strongly for ne- Vanessa. And part of it was just like, I'm just going to like fuck yeah. with everyone mm-hmm. and not, give her yeah. one and the third one is she already had a pretty big target on her back and mm-hmm. i was trying not to make it yeah, larger it makes sense um so i was like oh, i'm not gonna give yeah. her one so meanwhile these girls are all freaking out about this rose that alaya got and i'm just like you're spending all this mm-hmm. time arguing about about it right it, well i just but i can understand as we see you know later um at the cocktail party all the the bruises they had on them too though <laughs> Great, mm-hmm. great work there, though. Yeah, the, <laughs> somebody could have been. Concu- that was a great boy. You know, they get that shot. That Again, shot. It, it is a great. This is. I think this team right now. It is like an orchestra playing 
at the peak of their powers. I mean, they are so good. Yeah. They do not miss a trick right now. There, it's it really is great. It is amazing. I oh, oh I am one hundred percent convinced. Oh, so then anyway, so like he keeps Alea. He keeps like he gives her the rose. Gives her the rose. And Prowl- then, by the way, and then leaves. Then it leaves. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's right. That that is that is the across the bachelor and bat, but more the bachelor has to bear in those yeah, situations. It does. Yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, and, and I remember I'm watching this, and that's I, that's such the difference between the bachelor and the bachelorette. Like, if Hannah B was in this situation, caught up in this lie, at any point Hannah B could have yelled at, mm-hmm. say, the Luke P, yeah. and everyone's just like this, mm-hmm. and you could tell Peter's just like. I know she's lying, but I don't want to be a dick. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just like very carefully talking to Victoria. Well, we P. ever had a guy who sort of is like, I'm just not going to put up with this. I don't know that we have because I think you're you're, you're really right. afraid think, of just being a dick. Yeah, I think that's that's what you're difficult. just like. Uh, I don't want to like mm-hmm. call you out, but uh, what you're saying is weird. I mean, the closest thing like when when I got choked by Jasmine, I was pretty much like, I you need to go. <laughs> I, I stopped pretending <laughs> That's to care at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think every bachelor <laughs> is really just worried mm-hmm. about be, being a, a dick. Yeah, I think you're you're right. Uh, but I also think, too, he genuinely is just, you know, he he much more wants to love than, than not. Like anybody. Oh, yes. Me, like just people. He gets a charge out of people. He likes people to, you yeah, know. I mean, you're, you, you've met him a little bit, so you he's, know. He's a sweet I mean, guy he's just, and, he's a good guy. And everyone in that mm-hmm. position, you're just like, are you really. Mm-hmm. For all the people, for, for all the people who, like, the lead, the lead, the feels, of, uh, you want to find love. You, like, yeah. you are worried. Mm-hmm. Like, that pressure that you see that comes out of the Bachelor Bachelorette is a real fear of but not But he really working. does. He wants to find love. He, he believes in the show. He wants it so badly. And he never once says, like, you know, some of you are ruining my chances here. Like, I'm getting upset. Instead, uh, it's always confusion. It's just like, well, they're, I'm just so confused. They're running circles. Or Peter mm-hmm. Peter got beat up this episode. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. they he they really went, they went after him. Yeah. The, it's because it, the women. Because all are, he does is just go, you're right. He's just responding. Right. The That's women right. are creating this drama. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, Alea showed up. And yes, he gave her the rose. Didn't help himself mm-hmm. out. And yes, he keep kept her but to peter's point he is mm-hmm. getting misinformation yeah. he is being manipulated mm-hmm. by victoria p mm-hmm. and he's just trying to like follow his heart and these these girls just hate alea for f- because she she annoys them well she does something you know i mean the way she talked about the whole thing when she was so she's like oh you guys don't know about chase Weiss? oh the internet yeah, knows that everything that was so, weird listen i mean that was sort of where you're like okay she does like to stir the pot oh she she loves the show here's the thing here's yeah. the thing I, here's my i i per, like i said this last week i'm i'm not defending alaya she clearly is doing things you're just like you just you mm-hmm. you're hurting yourself that's right like she might even be annoying she might not know when to shut up but she is not this like evil pot stir also by the way you did, don't think you don't, I think don't that know comment? that the way she said that yeah. that did not sound I, like somebody who's that not might an be evil true, pot but stir. I, yeah. I, I no one and i went and when victoria f confronts her she does it in such a logical way of the you 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 have been here you know nobody has a phone how wouldn't it because her oh. whole thing's like how do you guys not know this it's all over the internet victoria f absolutely destroyed her there and also i just feel like victoria f is the only one who has legitimate Mm-hmm. Like reason. Oh, she should have beef. Absolutely. She should have beef. Mm-hmm. I also, you can't convince me that the person who actually told all the women wasn't Alea. Mm-hmm. It was McKenna, because Alea told McKenna she's there. She's like, oh, you didn't hear about Chase Rice, and even Alea's like, I didn't tell everyone. Right. So, but you have okay, to know that's if you say it. That, I'm, but then Alea, it's, it's assumed you know what she but, told everyone. But what Alea could have said to to your point, if she'd been, I mean, I know these things are you're not ready no, for these yeah. things. But she could have said, I only told McKenna. And then once I realized nobody knew, I didn't say anything. Let's get McKenna in here. That's true. That would have been true. amazing. Yeah, that that would have been great. Uh, you know what else? But I wouldn't be shocked if McKenna told everybody. No, I'm sure she did. I think you're absolutely right. I think she said one thing and then McKenna told everybody. Yeah. She um, said, "I all my friends were like, why'd you get sent home? And I was like, I don't know. Are they like allowed to go tell all their friends they got kicked off The Bachelor? Like, isn't it supposed home? to be a secret? What, are they allowed or not? You're not supposed to say anything. Right. You think, she kind of like let it anything. slip that she's telling everyone. 
I mean, sure, yeah, but to to rob. I mean, they know you're 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 gone, and now you're home. Just the show is so much bigger. It, it's so crazy to have seen this show go. I mean, when I first started working on the show, I don't think things like there certainly wasn't Twitter. I don't even think there were iPhones. Like it was, it's crazy how much it's changed. So nobody really cared. It's well, like you went on The Bachelor, and that was it. Now. It's just insane. Everybody knows you're on. They know you're on before and while the show's filming. So it's it's a big thing. And that's I and I, I mentioned this I think last season on Hannah's season, and I'm curious your point of view on this is that now more than ever the show is is like this organic living organism right. that is yes, still going on mm-hmm. even when you guys aren't mm-hmm. filming because that's of right. social media mm-hmm. because of people's interaction yes. offline mm-hmm. the ability to like have content that's right and, and how big it is is that the story these beeline storylines mm-hmm. might be going on like literally right now yeah, as we that's speak right. here the bachelor something Peter, is going Peter's on Peter's season is kind of still going on yeah that's it right it could be talked about at tell all that could mm-hmm. be talked about at afr mm-hmm. and that's more you know that's very fascinating it is it's pretty it's pretty crazy but you're absolutely right it just goes on 365 days a year it's 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 really mm-hmm. really crazy that way um what, what was it what was i gonna say and then so yeah i don't so know we're Vic- talking about yeah so you know leia's back there's all this drama peter has been played in your mind you don't think, think so do you no think he's i think too no weak? i don't think you're wrong is he too weak as a bachelor no i be, i i like these these women are great on cast but they're vicious they're they i mean i think they sense his he he's he's a very nice kind of gentle soul yeah they're i think they they're kind of acting out and they're kind of taking advantage of him being nice like sydney she seems cool i mean like she's beautiful Mm -hmm. and i actually like she i find her interesting Mm -hmm. but she's kind of maybe even a mean girl because she's well to your point you're absolutely right. It's such a great analogy. I never thought of it. But you're right. Hannah B. would have done the stay in your lane speech. Yeah. Like, if you right. want to get to know me, ask me about, you know, when Sydney's saying, you don't know my middle name, you don't know this. That was Sydney who said that, right? Yeah. I think, who, by the and, way, uh, I pointed out when, because I, when she goes, you don't, I haven't had a chance to tell you who Sydney is. Uh, there's an 85% chance that when she said that to Peter, she confused him because I'm pretty sure Peter in his head is probably thinking, wait, I thought you're Sydney. <laughs> right. You yeah, know, exactly. Like, why That's is she amazing. Going third person? That's great. At this point, he That's probably fantastic. was just like, wait, you're That's it. who's Sydney? Who's Sydney? Is, but Sydney. wait, who are you? <laughs> why? I've oh. been calling you Sydney the entire oh, time. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, who the hell is Sydney? Oh, that would have been great. Uh, I guarantee you that's what he would say. Oh, that would have been so fantastic. Uh, also, by the way, and when you have to get engaged in 10 weeks, middle names are just uh, a piece of information you that's can right. just not have you yeah. don't need not necessary not necessary yeah. not needed even last names it's initials that's yeah. it oh yeah when when uh when yeah when uh, who's calling out uh oh when victoria p was me- dropping the victoria F story she goes no victoria, victoria fuller. fuller that was peter goes that was victoria great. f like yeah. i don't know <laughs> exactly <laughs> who her last name's fuller who the fuck is fuller that's right that was amazing <laughs> that is that is like the weird part about mm-hmm. the bachelor um but yeah i mean um you're absolutely right. Like Hannah goes, Hannah gives a sting your lane speech. We yeah. all applaud Hannah. Yeah. Like you go girl. If Peter gave that speech, even though these mm-hmm. women are kind of creating this drama and Pe- everyone would be like, Ooh, Peter. Calm. I think there was a way to do it without being fi- like saying, you know, cause what's interesting. Once we started doing bachelors from previous seasons, starting with Jason Mesnick, they're always able to say like, look, I've been, to, you know, you were able to do it too. I've been in your shoe. I understand it can be hard. Like you can give a speech where you say, I know this is difficult. I get it. I do. But the same thing you'd say, I dealt with this with Hannah. Yeah. And all I can, you know, what Hannah did that was so great was she said, just worry about us. You know, she said, stay in your lane. That was always the joke, but that's really. And so I would advise everyone, let's all do that. That same thing. Sydney, I get it. So let's you and I connect, but don't worry about all this other stuff. Yeah, it's just the tone that Peter's doing mm-hmm. it. It's so very like... Mm-hmm. No, he's not doing it. And the good thing is if you do it once gently like that, then it gives you a license to then be a dick be and like, be hey, like, yes. okay, I, look, I said this, you know, you didn't listen. And I'm I know sorry. it's the nature of the show mm-hmm. and it's not, you know, again, I always say like, I, the you know, people always ask me questions about mm-hmm. producers and I'm like, they're just really good at letting things happen. Right? Yes, they don't, that's right. They're just really good at going with that. Mm-hmm. And so clearly they're not stopping this conversation yeah. from happening. But, you know, 
the only person who's obsessively talking about Alea is Sydney, who's right. complaining to Peter mm-hmm. that they're only talking about Alea. Exactly. So always this kind of this fascinating. That's right. It's like why? Mm-hmm. I don't. I, yeah, no, I, it's true. I don't know. Uh, have we have we missed anything else? What about Peter's turtleneck look? I thought I killed it. Did better yeah. than I did with my turtleneck. I look. don't know. When did which season did you wear a turtleneck? Uh, it was in Finland. Bachelorette, bachelor, oh, bachelor, bachelor, bachelor. bachelor. I mean, Obviously I, I made fashion mistakes on all my season, but the turtleneck story is Carrie, who the, yeah. the wonderful stylist, yeah, amazing, insisted that I wear a mm-hmm. turtleneck. And turtlenecks are now have they've come back. They've come back, have but they? yeah. They, mm-hmm. they, they they aren't totally out of nowhere. They're 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 making appearances on, on red carpets, if you will. And yeah, that looks like a foreign version of the Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even bachelor look like, that's, like that's exactly what it looks like. Like some yeah. cheesy spy movie that's yes, produced exactly. in film. Yeah. And so Carrie's just like, you know, it, they're coming back. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't I have literally haven't worn this since I was like seven. Yeah, exactly. Uh but okay, Mine man. Was a and animals. And he, it was like one of those things, like just do it for me. I was like, ah, fuck mm-hmm. it, whatever. And I was so like itchy and uncomfortable. I'm doing this the whole time. Well, there's was, nothing worse. Than oversized. Being itchy. If it was itchy, I would have said I'm not wearing this. Uh, it's itchy. And so, and then there's like this meme of me just. Do, I mean, it, I, I'm glad I did it now yeah. for the. F- for the yeah, meme right and now you got the ronnie dangerfield meme it's yeah, great it's still, uh yeah but uh i thought peter rocked the, the i thought like peter looked fine with the children yeah he looked good Little he's Steve good Jobs. i think he's so enjoying fashion because he has a job where he wears to wear a uniform so he's liking oh, wearing things that, that are a little bit yeah you know. yeah he's uh he's, mm-hmm. he's, they're styling him up uh, so yeah i mean we talked about the one-on-one with kelsey and you know she's great she took a big step forward she i yeah i mean i haven't seen and that i think it speaks to why I'm really enjoying the season is because I would I mean you you just don't see that many that much arc in a character That's right. this in a, this short period of mm-hmm. a time where like Kelsey looked batshit crazy sorry Kelsey if you're listening no she, you're, you're and, right and, yeah. and I'm watching this episode being like she could win you know here's Peter mm-hmm tearing up relating to her and like he mentioned like his mom and her her stepmom and you yeah it's clear to everyone that peter really respects his parents relationship mm-hmm. and really like looks up to them and so it's like not that shocking to think that peter looks at kelsey and thinks i could have mm-hmm. the type of relationship with Absolutely. her that my parents have with each other like i would not have thought that yeah no you episode. would never guess that a girl who has a meltdown over a bottle of champagne would then be somebody who has those layers of, you know, like the real trauma. I mean, yeah. that's got to be awful. I don't recall many, so you know, there's a lot of divorce stories on the batch. It's, it's all different days, but that one with the the wedding ring and the yeah. letter, like that was brutal. And the way she told it was like she got emotional, mm-hmm. but it, she seemed, you know, yeah, stoic, and it mm-hmm. you know, seemed sincere. That's right. And, and it was just. Uh, yeah, I mean, she really she really impressed me. No, it was true. Uh, if you go back, I know we're not sh- showing clips. Just I'm just jumping around before we close out. Why, like when when the last time uh, Peter is uh, confronting Victoria P. Mm-hmm. and she's just gaslighting the shit out of him, and she's just like, "I don't want to talk to you," and he's just like. Hi, we don't yeah. have to talk. No, fine, I'll talk to you. And then they go outside. I can't believe I'm over. She she mm-hmm. takes his hand away from his and they sit down. And then she's he he goes, Do you want to sit down? Well, I can't sit down. Then she sits down. It's just she's constantly making him feel yeah. like and then she goes, I've 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 opened up so much to you and I've been nothing but uh, honest with you she literally pauses between when she says go back and That's listen so interesting oh. i have to watch this so yeah i'm gonna rewatch everything in such a different light go, now. go back and listen she can't say the word she mm-hmm. can't say the phrase i've been so honest with you without pausing yeah. in the middle of saying honest mm-hmm. she's lying so much yeah i've been so vulnerable with you i know you have no but- and i've been nothing but honest with you so i'm confused about why I'm in this position right now. Uh, also, it was annoying that she didn't play in the football game. And then after oh, she was like, I wish I could have played because yes. I really I'm like, you either get to play or you don't. You get don't get to have both. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Kel, uh, uh, Victoria P is definitely the girl who gets headaches. We forgot all remember. the time, whenever. Like she had the spinning car trauma. Yeah, don't forget yeah, that's that. Right? Oh, yes, yeah. that was Victoria. Yes, she's yeah. a bit dramatic. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be shocked if you date Victoria P. There, there is a headache or a stomach ache or a backache around any corner of something she might not want to do. No, am I right? Yeah. No, you might be right. Yeah, I have a headache. Sorry, my back hurts. There's all these obscure pains that like yeah. you can't really say 
you're not having. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she had such a traumatic childhood. I feel like probably a lot of that is related. You know what I mean? It's kind Uh, of sad. Could be. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. But just just not an excuse to lie. You know, people have traumatic childhoods. Kelsey had a traumatic childhood. I was going to say, I think Nick's shocked to say this, but he's saying be more like Kelsey. Be... (laughs) Right? I not he didn't really, think you'd be saying this. Two I weeks did ago. not think I'd be saying this. Yeah. Like, be as level headed and <laughs> as tall. Exactly. I mean, right. that is an insane. Exactly. Was, you know, Kelsey's going to every day, like, don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Be cool. Be the cool <laughs> girl. Wow. I, I got uh, to say, I got a sense watching this that uh, it, it's, I'm not talking about, oh, I want to date Kelly, but like, she seems like, uh, like, from a friend standpoint, I bet like she'd be, if she was in my friend group, I'd be like, you're cool. Yeah. You know, like I bet you can watch a, a game with her. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed she doesn't know how to polka. She's from Iowa. Yeah. She's from the Midwest. Well, that's a big thing. She, yeah, I'm sure for you that's a personal It's very thing. Wisconsin. A, yeah. yeah. It's very Wisconsin. I was a little disappointed yeah. in not being a little polka, I but hey, I know. neither here nor there. It's all good. Before we let you go, is yeah. next week the big uh accident for Peter? It actually? is. <gasps> next week's the big accident can for you Peter. Give us any insight behind the scenes. Uh, well, I think what you re- you know, cuz this was sort of to your point, everybody sort of knows everything early now. So that was that was already known. I mean, I think people were reporting about it. Like, you know, Bachelor injured and oh, the thing. Sure. I mean, they made it seem like he like lost his face. Yeah, and it's a pretty happen sense. Of course, it's like once the show goes international, so he has to get airlifted to like the only plastic surgeon, you know, in Costa Rica. And, oh my gosh. But um, so, yeah, so it happens. But it, watching it now, seeing all this that happens, you can see why he's sort of not in his head like it was such a routine accident that shouldn't have happened but it just was you oh know, okay i think he's so thinking about all this stuff sure that, yeah even normal things like just stepping out of a golf cart with a glass in your hand become difficult <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, we shouldn't be having him fly planes maybe then for his dates well he's... he didn't yeah he did he did a little bit i think that actually calms him Pro- probably probably yeah, yeah. yeah no being the bachelor will I, I doubt i will ever do anything as physically and as mentally exhausting it's got to be what's well, funny because we talk about the different things you know you being a runner those are things that prepare I, it is difficult sure. like it's why we've always said when we have somebody like, I remember years and years and years ago, we had a guy named Andy Baldwin, who was a military doctor. Like, that's a guy, he stayed up for 24-hour shifts or whatever. He was ready to handle it. Yeah. You know, There's, certain people, but it is. It, it is an stress. exhausting, it is it is tough. You have to, you push yourself first. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like the first half of the season, you push yourself to physical limits. Mm-hmm. And mostly that is getting four hours of sleep on yeah. a regular basis and then constantly have to you know, manage literally yeah. emotions and conversations. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's funny, like this group date when Peter goes, oh, wow, it's 13 of you. <laughs> he's saying <laughs> yeah, this exactly. out of like what he knows that mm-hmm. he's about to have to do. That's and right. That is talk to 11 mm-hmm. people he doesn't really want to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> right. He wants to talk to Madison. He probably wants to talk to Hannah and uh, who else? No, there's a few. Victoria P. Victoria McKenna. P. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm being... But like there at least half of them he doesn't mm-hmm. know. And it's just like he's just nervous. Right. He doesn't know. And like he knows he's just gonna sit down and he knows he's gonna start getting questions about like mm-hmm. I haven't got to talk to you and he's not gonna know what to say because he doesn't have a connection and they're the not. The sad gonna- thing is, I wonder, was it like this for you? Did you watch the show back and say, like, gosh, I wish I'd gotten to know that person? Because to me it's like the person that really shines I felt this season that I'm oh like, God, you're missing the boat on is Tammy. Tammy's awesome. Tammy is. Tammy is so cool. Yeah. Tammy. And I would think you're looking at it, you're like, God, I'm so wrapped up in this drama that I'm not getting a chance to. Well, yes, but like not in the point, like, again, you're, if, if Peter had, is an experience, anything I had, I, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to fall in love. I mean, right. I really did. I, no, it's I, true. I really Absolutely. wanted to like, and so that was really my only mm-hmm. focus, right? Yeah. It was like, I have 10 weeks. And the only thing I know is everyone's expecting me to get engaged. You know, certainly no one forces you. You don't mm-hmm. have to, but there is this expectation. Sure. Absolutely. And you want yeah. it to work, mm-hmm. right? And so that's your focus. So to that, yes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, Tammy, who like Peter may not be into romantically. Like, but he might cool be. I don't even know. know that he has time because you're right. He's focusing on well, three or four people. Well, you're right. That's the, that's the burden of the show is that you're going to first yeah. follow your immediate like physical attraction. Mm-hmm. Not that that's the only thing, but yeah. you're, you're, you no, latch you're, on. You're, you're absolutely You right. latch yeah. on to like quick, mm-hmm. uh, f- quick reactions and instant uh, attractions. And that's then right. you try to build on those rather yeah. than like 
the person you like, wow, it, we've been friends for a year and I didn't realize I was going to fall in love with you kind of situations. Yeah. Like, that can't happen on The Bachelor. Yeah. I guess that's entirely possible. That could have... Yeah. Could happen in life, but... Uh, well, you can rewatch it and then obviously at the tell, I'll say, you know, hey, I'd love to be friends. Yeah. I mean... It usually doesn't happen, that doesn't, but Yeah. I, I didn't have that with the from the women on yeah. my season. I didn't it seemed want, like Ari kind of did that. He was like well, sliding literally. into Becca's... Becca M's DMs. Oh yeah, Remember? that's I forgot about that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but wasn't that more to be like, I, I, like I, what the hell? Yeah, you, you know more than us about like what Ari's state of mind was after he picked Becca, but it clearly confused. Well, he was happy for a while. I mean, I remember being with him for New Year's Eve, and he was happy. You know, like everything. It's like you're happy right after it happens, and then <laughs> obviously we all saw what happened. We saw the rest. Yeah. Well, I will say right around uh, Christmas and in, in, in New Year's for me it was like mm-hmm. that first moment of like, oh boy, this could be trouble. Oh mm-hmm. no! Well, because it's the holidays and the stresses yeah. and the the, the premieres right it's around funny the corner. Because it, it's funny the the tape schedule that you're right. Like it's weird how you're thrown into this couple, you know, potentially engaged like you were, and then literally right into holidays. Yeah, and for you especially who has such a big close family. Holidays are like a big thing yeah. with somebody you you know so that's got to be It's a be, weird thing you're mm-hmm. like you're I'm engaged to this person and like we can't even can't spend Christmas together right. and then like literally the premieres around the corner mm-hmm. The reality steves of the world are yeah. dropping information. The tabloids or mm-hmm. they you tell them not to read anything, they start reading it. You rea- it's Yeah. It's uh, it's it's, uh, hard. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's hard. Um anything else well i know peter says no one knows the answer oh, of what happens yeah in season. thank do you, you know? for reminding me of course he knows. i do know you yes. know he knows mm-hmm. but so i gotta Peter's say wrong. i got pretty say, crazy it i is? say that yeah. i'm uh, it's crazy? i'm fascinated that no one really knows I, I it's wild that peter is saying this with confidence because when peter says this my first reaction is oh what a young pup who doesn't realize right. how could how could no one know but no one seems to know no one knows and he's you know the thing for him is that he's in charge but but. he stayed very tight-lipped about everything i think it's just important to him that everybody oh i could tell when i saw him Mm -hmm. you could you know most i've said this before Mm -hmm. most leads will want to tell they'll be like i need to tell someone and i tell you you're like in the group Mm -hmm. you're in the club so to speak you know and i'll be like i don't sure you want to tell me i don't care peter was like yeah you didn't want to not saying anything so how many people do you think know like number wise mm, not many less than 50 maybe oh wow something like that it's still wow. but it's not people who work on the show it's the people that then that spread to other people right. yeah right well mm-hmm. that's the thing it's just it's just one you tell yeah that's one leak you tell one and especially somebody that then loves to tell people like, right there's certain people like somebody last season Anna season, there you know, there's somebody whose mom loved to yeah, it's just always go someone's and tell mom, somebody, you know? right? Mm-hmm. And it's always the mothers, it's always the moms or the mm-hmm. aunts or the cousins, yeah. and they uh, and they mm-hmm. told uh, someone's a hairdresser in that equation. Yeah, exactly. And, they, and then it goes, and, and then, then it's yeah. just the next thing you know, it's mm-hmm. like an LA brush fire That's that turns, right. you know, exactly. just like right. turns into yeah. a, a whole mess. You so, had to take it into tragedy there, Nick. That was great. Yeah, yeah great. Thanks. thanks. Way to bring it down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> people are losing homes it's oh, just it's man. very sad yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no hints so on that Can't note give us yeah. any hints uh, about yeah, the no, ending you don't, you don't want, want hints no. i want I'm one really look, my in, favorite really thing enjoying that i'm not spoiling my favorite story that mike feist tells and this is why it's irritating for us with the spoilers and things that end is he was when it was trista's season as batch right and this is when the show was like just massive i mean still like it is today but it was a different world where there was only four networks there was a, you know so everybody really watched things in the same time and he was at a viewing party and then he had to leave early and so he left like the last five or ten minutes and then he he gets to the scene he's walking to his car and it's the scene it's not the house he was at watching the viewing party it was the two houses down the, the scene where she picks Ryan and he hears the whole place erupt in applause. And it's like, that's exciting. You know, yeah. it's like a sporting event yeah. you know, when you see these things happen. So yeah. um, that's what's pretty cool. It is great. I don't know if you've been in the audience when we do for either for yours or for other ones, but like when you have like the after the final rows mm-hmm. and you're showing 
these scenes to the to the audience in there and they start just like cheering and everything yeah. and it feels it's it's awesome yeah. it's great it really so when you have that element of surprise it's it's really it's great so yeah. i'm excited for it's this better one. for everyone this is going to be a great event for all of us Woo! we're all I, gonna love it i am enjoying being spoiler free i've tried to be spoiler free in the that's past nice. and it like people i just, don't think there are spoilers that's the crazy thing. but that's what yeah. i'm saying i'm enjoying i truly have no idea yeah willpower is not your strong suit nick so it's good that you, you know now you don't have to be uh you know i'm kidding <laughs> Tease, we're friends yeah exactly uh, i know but That's even right. when I'm, I'm texting peter he was just like so who do you think i pick and i'm like i'm gonna be honest i'm afraid to give you my sense because i don't know yeah who you i don't want to offend or say anything or or or, or give an opinion with a critical mm-hmm. eye because i don't know and that yeah. kind of fun to watch it it is fun to watch because you you know um i mean look the other way is you hear it and then you have to see how it goes i would still watch it it's still enjoyable you know and how you have in your mind here's how it happens and then it's like oh maybe that's a little bit different but um no this one's pretty cool but like yeah it is a sporting event it's the Mm -hmm. you know it is it is it's not even the you know it used to be like oh it's the female nfl it's no it's for everyone there was barstool sports as we tweeted out um this thing of these guys that was awesome you know these guys screaming when I he loved that. gave McKenna yeah. the final row. So it that. is. It's it's for all of us. It's a new sporting event. And, and that's why we can have podcasts like this. It's like that's I'm right. a big sports talk mm-hmm. radio guy. Yeah. And, and it's just like, no, this isn't this? the and nexus like, of that's sports what this, pop culture. That yeah. That's right. That's why there's so many different podcasts and radio shows because everyone's got a different take. And yeah. you want to hear it all. Mm-hmm. It's just like, well, it's just, oh, fuck it. We'll just do yeah. it. Um, well, Rob, I really appreciate it. Uh, dude, it was great uh, seeing you, man. Yeah, it was great seeing you. Anything you can tell us about upcoming Bachelor stuff? I know you have the new uh, show We've got, coming out. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. We're expect? excited. That's a. It's such an interesting thing. We started just a couple of nights ago, and it's fascinating because these are people who all have no ties to the Bachelor. There's nobody from a previous season. There's nobody. So it's all like these fresh people who sort of come in. I mean, there's one guy who was like didn't even know chris harrison was so. oh my gosh it was do they have thing. the bachelor look it has the bachelor i mean it, it like the feels that's what's weird they, they, well they, yes and no i mean they're they're artists and performers so they do but um, they're not all six four they're not all six four yes <laughs> they don't exactly. all have extensions mm-hmm. but it's interesting watching these people sort of make these intimate musical connections so it feels like bachelor but it also feels like something different I think that's the thing we've been thinking about. If we do spinoffs and what really hurt The Bachelor years ago was when it was just The Bachelor in the fall and The Bachelor in the spring and and it was just The Bachelor. So it didn't feel special. Whereas you were the one Bachelor for 2017 or whatever that year was. Mm -hmm. Um, So this is, it's it's really cool and it's fun to kind of do things that feel different and fun, but still gives you that Bachelor fix. So people fall in love on the show? Uh, they we just started, but hopefully that's oh. the that's the you know that's the goal. Could you see any of these uh, cast members from Listen to Your Heart find their way? Oh, to absolutely, a beach? of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Literally said that last night. All right, mm-hmm. and then you're just wondering: it's it's like, is there going to be a weird like you know? Well, you're not a real bachelor person. Oh, wh- you're a Listen to Your Heart person. There is oh. no because listen. As we saw Nick's the, already casting judgment. As we saw in this, <laughs> as we saw in this episode, the Bachelor world is it's high school Mm -hmm. right and it is and i was actually talking mm -hmm. to one of the producers last week and it's just i mean i'm not here to defend a a lay as a like she's she's just a person and like but when in that world when when the cast members smell blood in the water Mm -hmm. they're just looking for a reason and it doesn't even need to be a valid reason they just all they're thinking and just like in life we can all relate when someone's being picked on and that's why bullying happens in this world sometimes Mm -hmm. is your your only thought is Thank God it's not me. Yes. Yeah. That's Thank right. God. So hard. And, it, true. and that happens in that world. And you see, like, you, mm-hmm. I mean, because again, the only person who has a legitimate gripe against Alea is Victoria F. From what I can that's understand, right. other than like, you know, Sydney saying she she is a, she, like, what I don't know what she says. She just says, you're fake. Everything we've seen from Alea doesn't mean, I mean, I thought that her with the pilot's had on last week was like kind of funny and it's like oh cool whatever you know she might be obnoxious Mm -hmm. but it doesn't make her a terrible person yeah it's also just interesting it it depends on which show because we always talk about this with you nick like where you really where people really saw the real nick to me was on bachelor in paradise yeah where it's like oh you see how this is a guy 
who comes from a big family because you were like a brother to oh interesting everybody there and that's that's where it was like okay where you shine. This guy, yeah this is where he shines whereas sometimes it's hard with a bunch of dudes in there hard, yeah and like okay well you're not the typical you know like like dude bro. yeah bro well, and that's yeah. the thing it's like you can be you know the villain sometimes based off it's it, most mm-hmm. of the time actually especially like you know get victoria p set herself up yeah. but usually the house dictates mm-hmm. and it's like the show's not saying this person's a bad person all the show is showing is these people don't like this person that's yeah. right mm-hmm. yeah. and then as viewers sometimes we decide well we don't yeah like, the audience kind of joins the little like mm-hmm. mean girls club that's of right the of the house mm-hmm. saying well you don't like her well there mm-hmm. must be a reason why yeah. i'm not even gonna like figure out if mm-hmm. there is i'll just not like her yeah as well that's human yeah. nature it is. it is that's right so is bachelor in paradise ever going to change locations do you think or it'll stay on that I, you never know you know i mean yeah. the first season was in a different location oh okay. but that place has sort of become like the bachelor mansion now. it's so kind of uh, i yeah i don't i don't think you should i think no it's i don't think we will but you ne- you know you never say never you never know but i yeah. thought it was i thought it was cool i thought it was re- i really enjoyed uh, i've always thought at some point it would be fun to do it on a cruise oh, oh. Cruise ship, you know? i mean that would t- that would make people crazy. Mm-hmm. It'd be great. Bachelor, and then somebody it. just gets gets literally dropped off at a point. You know, oh, it's like you have to go, and then that you're would stuck be there. good TV. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like just mm-hmm. uh, put down on a raft the, no. into the ocean. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they get slow. That's right. You get the dinghy down there. <laughs> yes. mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. That'd you really great. Mm-hmm. that you might have to do yeah. that. Uh, all right, Rob. Thanks so much. Uh, really my pleasure, it. man. It's great Absolutely. seeing you. you too, uh, uh, congratulations on all the success thanks, over at buddy. ABC. You, you, you guys are killing it. So um, it's always great to see you. Thank you see for you a soon. great show. It was fun. Really yeah. fun. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. We have a great interview with Megan, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. <laughs>